Are you feeling low, sluggish, feeling depressed or sad or just like life isn't going the way you want it to go? And if life goes in a way we don't want it to go, we feel very unhappy. And life's difficult, so if we're wanting to be happy all the time, which we're always constantly trying to chase, it's going to be really pretty much impossible if we're not taking the actions to fulfil our mind to become and attract a happier state of being. So today I wanted to just go over and shed light on what are your daily routines? What's your morning routine? When you get up in the morning, what do you think? Uh, what are you grateful for? How do you represent yourself to the world that day? Are you standing tall? Are you feeling proud? Are you feeling accomplished? Are you feeling active and driven? Or are you going, oh, just another day at work? Just another day doing something I don't love. Feeling distracted, feeling upset. Don't feel nourished in any way. Well, today is the day to just decide to change. Decide to make your morning routine especially something to give you the energy and vitality for the entire day ahead. So wake up early with enough sleep. Sleep is so necessary. You need seven to eight hours sleep a night undisturbed to feel refreshed. And then after that you want to wake up, you want to wake up to a morning routine of of doing a hobby or doing exercise, doing meditation, doing watching some positive influences on YouTube, researching something that makes you feel good, doing yoga and so mixing all these different positive habits together for about 40 minutes to an hour in your morning. That is enough to just give you the give you the position to feel like you're able to take on the day. That you're able to feel happier in your state of mind. Instead of waking up feeling with all the problems on top of you, wake up knowing there's a solution to all the problems and the only way to to get over them, to, to f find those solutions, is to take it one step at a time, is to demolish one problem at a time. Following a strict routine every day, even though it may seem difficult and impossible and maybe not entertaining to you at first, but believe me, when you get into that cycle and change those bad habits to good habits, you start to feel alive and well. You start to want to do more things in your day. You start to want to engage more with other people, do more in your life, feel more adventurous, feel more like you're able to do more exercise, do more of what you love, do more of what you love to do. And it's only then when you have that good cycle in play that you can move forward it's only then so start to think of your what you do in the morning now what you do throughout your whole day and how you can implement those things into your life and then over a period of three months six months start to see the difference but stick with it because this is your whole life we're talking about 
So you can keep living the way that you are living now, or you can start to make a difference in yourself, which will then make a difference in other people, in your family's lives, in your life, in people that you meet in everyday life. It's up to you to make this decision again, as I will always say, but I am here to help you. I want to help you. And you may feel like you don't want to talk to anyone. You may feel like, oh, I can't do that, I'm too proud to do that. Maybe feel like that. Well, if you feel like that and you really don't want to take action and you want to stay in the position that you're in, then by all means do that. But you can't complain every day about things, about everything, if you're not taking the action to make your life better and to make you a better person day by day. Contact me. I want to hear your story. I want to know who you are. Speak to you soon.